Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will share with you guys 10 awesome apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device in July 2024 and we're starting things off with Final Cut Pro Camera. Now, uh, this is an app that has been released recently by Apple. It is free to download on your device. And it's a true pro camera app on your iPhone. So you will have a bunch of different controls right here. Now, first of all, you can see the interface here. You can zoom in and out here using the slider, which is pretty cool. And then you will also have here a few other controls. You can change the lenses here, which is pretty cool. And then you will have the other controls right here, like the autofocus. You can, of course, go to a manual focus from here. You can switch here to auto and manual focus. And you will also have other things like the brightness exposure and all that. Right there at the top, you will have different formats to which you can change directly from the app. You will have right there also the time that you have left to record on your iPhone, of course, always based on the storage that you have on your iPhone. Then you will have here the camera so you can actually connect to multiple cameras with your iPhone, which is a really nice feature to have. So finally, a really pro camera app directly from Apple. The next app for the video is called Date Range Search. So whenever you search on Google, you will get a ton of different results. Of course, it has a tool here which allows you to choose the result, actually filter the results, whether you want to see results from the last year, last month, or last week. But this one is actually really specific. So here's what you do. You go ahead and copy the link of your search right here, then go back into the app. You tap right here, allow the paste and then you can just go ahead and set here any date you want. So if in this case, if we're searching for iOS 18, I can specify the dates between which I want to search tap right here, it gets you back to Safari. And then you will actually get the results here based on the dates that you have set on the app. The next app for the video is called Swiper. Now, Swiper will allow you to free up a ton of storage on your iPhone by easily deleting any photos that you have on your device. So what you will have to do here is, of course, choose one of the albums. And you can see right here, it will actually separate the pictures based on the month they were taken. So you will have your recents here and then you will have all the different months here. So you can go to one of the albums and all you have to do here is swipe like this. If you want to delete one, you swipe on the right if you want to keep one on the left if you want to delete it. Now, once you have done that, you will have your pictures right there at the trash bin. You tap on delete item. And you can just go ahead and delete it from here. and It will show you how much you have deleted and how much space you have saved on your device. The next app for the video is a free app called Sensor. Now with Sensor, you will get every detail you need to know regarding an iPhone. So you install the app, open it up, and you will see right here. We'll have a few different sections here. We have the device where you see all the like different information regarding the device and we have the battery storage you will have the screen memory the cpu here the network and then you will also have your location of course you need to have location services turned on for that and you will have the motion here as well now what's really cool about this app are the widgets it offers a ton of different widgets and we have a few of them right here with well, the one for the storage pretty cool we have a simple one here for the battery and we also have one that will monitor your network usage, the Wi-Fi and the seller as well. And you will see here we have the blue for the download and also the red for the upload. Next up is File Manager. Now, this is an app that will allow you to manage your files, organize them in a way so that you can easily find any file you need. Not just that, you will also have the ability to zip and unzip files and also convert different files. So here we have all of the files. You can switch to documents, photos, and videos. But if you go to one of them right here, you will see we have a ton of video, a ton of pictures right here. You can view them. Now, of course, you can also select them if you want to. And then you will get this pop-up where you can compress all these photos or maybe delete them or move, move them. Then we, if we go back here to the main screen, we can go to the tools and then under tools here, you will have 
the ability to convert documents, images, audio, and also video as well. You will also have the, the tool here that will allow you to actually zip and unzip a different files on your device. So if we go to one of them, you can go to your files here, choose any document in this case, and just convert it from one format to another. Charmap is the next app for the video. Now, this is an app that you can use as an app, but you can also use it as a keyboard on your device. Simply head on to your settings, general keyboards, and add Charmap. Now, what you can do here is just find a ton of different symbols that you don't actually have on your iOS keyboard. So you can go to things like currency, maybe arrows or anything like that. And you will have a ton of like different symbols right here. You can go to a symbol, you can see the name of it, you can add it, you can share it, or you can copy it from here. Then you will have the Unicode right here, which is also pretty cool. And you will have also different fonts that you can add to the keyboard. So it's pretty awesome, very, very useful if you just want to add some extra new features to your keyboard. Next up is name tag. Now name tag is a pretty cool app. It allows us to add a widget on the lock screen where you can have your information. In this case, you can see right here, it says if found, contact iReview. So basically you can add your information there. And if you lost your iPhone and someone finds it, they will know exactly where to contact to get the phone back. Now, if we go into the app here, you will see how you can set up this. Now it has a few paid features and a few free features like the ability to add the photo because you can also add it as a home screen widget. You can add the name here, the address and the contact number as well. But this is a paid feature. It's actually $1.99 for a lifetime. So with this, you can set a number there, not just an email. You will also be able to add your image as well. So it's pretty cool. And maybe it will be useful if you just lost your phone anytime. Next up is Counter Plus. Now, of course, there are a ton of counter apps on the App Store. The reason I'm featuring this one in this video is that you can actually use it directly from the home screen, of course, via the home screen widget without you needing to open the app. So anytime you want to count something, you can add the widget. All you have to do is just tap on add here. You can just go ahead and add numbers as easy as this. Next up is a new toolbox app. Now with this app, you get a ton of different tools in one app. Like usually for the stuff that you have here, you would probably need like 10 or 15 apps on your device. So we have easy things, basically simple things like the clock here or flip a coin like this one right here. You can just go ahead and flip a coin if you want to, or you will also have other things like maybe your network info, your ping, you can just generate a random number. You will have a roulette right there. You can add or remove any of the items here if you just want to do something and you just want to spin the roulette right here. It's pretty cool. You will also have a speedometer right here, which actually, of course, works with location services. And then you will also have things like text to speech, UDID generator. You can have a whiteboard here, stopwatch, so a ton of different tools in one app. And last but not least is an app called Solos. This is a pretty cool app. It brings the old school cassette player to your iPhone. It basically connects with the Apple Music app and it allows to play music right here. So you will see that interface right there. It's actually pretty awesome. Now, if we go to the settings right here, you can enable different icons, set different appearances for the app right here. And then you will also have the ability to change the theme. Of course, more of them are coming soon, but this is what it offers. It's actually pretty cool to look at. And if you tap right here, then you can go ahead and choose any album you want to add from the Apple Music app and play it with this pretty cool looking interface. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one.